Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Farts and Crap Show. Where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 13, I want to say, of Xenogears, the PS1 version here on Retro Classics, which, I mean, is still the only version of Xenogears, I'm pretty sure. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, but, um, yeah, hope you guys are all having a great day today. Uh, on the last episode, we kind of went around and talked to everybody. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Uh, maybe later. That's what I thought. Yeah, we're, we're good. We took a nap on the, um... Uh, I forget what they called it. The mobile... Pirate Den thing? I'm sure there is a name for the vessel, but... Uh, anyway, now we are on the larger... The uh, Inn? Inn. This is not a mobile base. I don't believe, anyway. This is the larger pirate base. Um, and we were supposed to go meet, uh, we were supposed to follow Satan and Old Mason, I believe, to go have some tea. I don't know where they went. Ah, here they are. <laughs> Never mind. This is the dining hall. I'm sorry, it's so gosh. Gosh? Gosh, probably. I think that's how you spell that, probably. It's not that bad, man. I get you're like Mr. Fancy and everything, but please take a seat. Okay. Mm Perhaps you would like to some of my famous tea. Master Fay, the doctor. <laughs> I'm sorry, we blew all our budget on animation. Young visitors are rare indeed. The young master must be very happy. If things were normal, we wouldn't be living in the desert, but rather back in the royal palace. Hence why I probably look out of place being such a fancy lad here in the desert. Oh crap, Satan hasn't had lines for... Royal Palace. You mean that young one is connected... That's what it was. You mean that young one is connected to the old Fatima dynasty? Pardon? N no, I'm just a senile old fool who talks too much. Yes. Oh, it's supposed to... He's not supposed to talk about it. And he accidentally mentioned... Alright. Pay no attention to what I just said. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. But... That one-eyed youth does have a certain bearing. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> very quickly. Uh, oh, oh, w well spoken, sir. Awfully good of you to notice. If I may, I would like to tell you. The young gent is the last forgotten reminder of the once proud Fatima dynasty. Which I guess I wasn't supposed to tell you. It is before it was destroyed by Shakan's minions. Prince Bartholomew Fatima. Bartholomew, Edbarth the fourth successor. I'm sure they announced Bartholomew died of an illness 12 years ago. Officially, yes. However, in reality, we rescued the young prince from Shakan's evil grasp. Then why must the prince, the rightful heir, resort to piracy? Hmm. 
Since fleeing here, we have had only one wish. That the young master would grow up to be a great man. Not to reclaim the throne. That is correct. Of course, to say that we have to say we have absolutely no desire to restore his rule would be a lie. We have plans for that as well. And part of those plans would include piracy. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this whole piracy thing. Well, yes, but there is a reason for that. I feel like that's going to be his response to, like, <laughs> everything. Both Avar and Kislev are devoted to excavating the ruins. Each country's strength is increasing daily. Even if we could get the help of all our comrades to start a revolution, the combined strength of all would still not be enough. We would certainly be suppressed by Shakan's guards in no time at all. Are you liking this pre-rendered shot? How about this one? We needed power. We tried excavating the ruins using the Yggdrasil, but it didn't work as much as well as we expected. Damn, dude. These pre-rendered shots look good. Excavation. Excavating requires... I feel like excavation would be correct, so I'm just going to say that. Excavation requires tremendous amounts of time, labor, and capital. And we don't have the money for that. So we created a giant moving fortress. <laughs> <laughs> the best we... Actually, we might have had money for that. <laughs> the best we can do with our sand cruiser is find small items in the sand. And the piracy. <laughs> Sorry, still trying to wrap my head around that. Regardless of who gains the ruins technology, one thing is certain. Both Kislev and Avar will simply use that power to oppress the other. I agreed with the young master's idea of creating a new power to balance things out a little. I see. It is far more effective to plunder from the shadows than to excavate the technology oneself. Of course, pillaging is an unpardonable act. Unless you were like, I don't know, a prince or a king or something. However, for a Va, for Ignis, to continue like this, who the fuck is Ignis? I I'm sorry if it sounds rather self-righteous. That is something which outsiders like ourselves cannot comment upon. From what you have told me, I feel that I feel that the result of what you are doing will be good. Seeing your children here tells me that. Are, are they his? They're not his children. What? I... Oh, does he mean his children? Like, he's obviously the butler and the one, like, in charge of their caretaking? Yeah. Okay. I am relieved by your words. Another cup of tea? Yes, please. Thank you. Again, sorry about the animation budget. Uh, uh, oh, it's fine. You mentioned you had plans. Why have you not put them into action? Well, we have. It's a process, you dick. <laughs> With Miss Marjorie... Oh yeah, somebody else mentioned Marjorie before. With Miss Marjorie imprisoned, we dare not do anything. She would not happen to be Nissan... Nissan's... You are well informed by your... Shit, what do they call him? Um... Ah, 
Your ellipsis are well informed, my good doctor. My dear doctor. She, sorry, I called you good doctor before. Now you're my dear doctor. My dear has been quite sick recently. I believe you know her as Shikanoko. Uh, she is the great mother Marguerite of Nissan. And the young master's cousin as well. She used to be the great mother Marguerite of Dotson until they got acquired by... <laughs> anyway. Why would Shikan take her captive? Shaka Khan. For the Fatima Jasper. It's fucking gorgeous. The Fatima Jasper that is said to show where the great treasure is? My good doctor, you do know an awful lot. I am most impressed. And a little suspicious, but mostly impressed. <gasps> Exclamation mark over my head. Do you not like my tea, Master Fay? You know I consider this a great insult. No, I'm just not thirsty. Duh. Well, I... Okay. Well, we have no idea what the great treasure actually is. But it is said to be strong enough to save our kingdom if it is ever in plight. So, even the royal family didn't know what the great treasure was but they had this thing that was supposed to show them where it was and it just doesn't work or nobody ever looked for it and Marguerite has the Jasper that tells the location only half of it to be precise let's just put it a couple more steps in the way of like what we want to do the young master and Miss Marguerite each have half only by combining the two halves will anyone know where the treasure is. What exactly is the Fatima Jasper? When you say a half of the Jasper, I imagine some kind of necklace. Only the heirs to Avar and Nisa know what it really looks like. But you're... The prince's caretaker wouldn't... Er, whatever. I see. So that is why they have her locked up. My guess is that when they do find out, her chances of living are not... Uh, I apologize. I simply... I mean, I was only supposing the worst case. So please, do not take it to heart. No, that is a terribly realistic scenario. Hmm. What exactly do you mean by great treasure? Again, we don't know what it is or where it is. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what the line is, so... <laughs> well, I haven't the foggiest. The gear! He means the gear! It has to be it! <laughs> is this just the narrator? Like... <laughs> or the writer? Or like... <laughs> Like, holy shit, dude. Come on, it's gonna be a giant robot, you dumbass motherfucking twit. <laughs> like, who's saying that? Bart? Young master, are the gears all right? Yeah. Even though they were sealed, sand's gotten into the joints. It's a pain in the neck to fix, so I'm having the crew take care of it now. My job is just to pilot them anyway. Besides, I'm bad with machines, so I just get in the way. Young master, I assume this is the only person that calls you young master. Kinda strange they would do that text box in that way. Here, T. Anyway, what were we talking about? Well, we, as a group of four, were not talking about anything. You just walked into the room. Ah, semantics. Whether the great treasure could be a gear. Oh, yeah. You know, something like that is drawn in one of the Ava picture scrolls. 
picture scrolls. That is what I just said. Well, if you're interested, let's go to the planning room. I'll show you what I mean, since you're my special guests. That sounds interesting. I just realized that this is the first time we've actually spoken. <laughs> like, had lines. Like, with each other. Oh, dude, there's so many pictures of this tea. Does this guy just make, like, a huge fucking vat of it? Or... Master Fay, please relax. Alright. And actually, that was helpful for old Mason, because, like... He hasn't had any extended dialogue up until this point, so... Kinda got a better feel for, like, how he should sound and everything. Uh, do you know why there, such a small child is here? She is a war orphan. Well, then you know why. She was found crying in the desert. It brought her here in the Yggdrasil. The... Huh? We must stop the fighting from making any more orphans like her. Oh, is the Yggdrasil, is that the ship that we were on? Is that why it was yellow and it was pointing? So it was actually saying where we were in relation to other locations that we've discovered. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Well, now, aren't you Faye? Well, well now, aren't you Faye? Our dear said he made a big, strong friend. Be friends with Bart. He's such a sweet child. Not interested. Eh, sure. I know. I'm counting on you, Faye, dear. And who? Hey, Granny. Oh, she's Granny. Okay, that works. You from Ava? Oh, you're not. Well, I was an Ava soldier. Ava's Prime Minister, Shikan, has so much military clout that he can send us students off to war. I wasn't happy with Shikan, so I got out of the army and became a pirate. I wonder if Francois is doing well at home. What? No, yuck. She's not my girlfriend, she's my dog. You left your dog alone at home? Like... You, you didn't bring it... You didn't bring... You didn't bring your dog with you, dude? Hey, newcomer. Where you from? Mahan? Don't know it. Hey, I was a Kislev soldier. Didn't like the way they did things in the army, so they kicked me out. You know, Master's got lots of power and ambition, just like me. This guy was once an Ava soldier. You just can't predict destiny, can ya? Used to fight each other, but now we're pals sharing a meal together. How about that, huh? Speaking of food... Uh, Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm hungry. Wait, are we good? Okay, we're good? Alright. <laughs> Um... Me, I'm waiting for my dad to get back. I'm not gonna cry. Pretty good, huh? That's really good. I'm assuming. Daddy! Look, Mom, Daddy! There, there. <laughs> you been a good girl by obeying the nice lady? Yes. I was good, so where are my presents? Presents. Look, <laughs> look. Here's a pirate dress-up kit. Wow. Thanks, Dad. Hey, girls, Dad. Where's my present? <laughs> Oops. I'm so embarrassed. This is how I am with children. It's been a long time since we last had fun. Let's play in the sand. Dad, this is the desert. Everywhere is sand. <laughs> You got a lot funnier since I saw you last. <laughs> or maybe that was him. I, I don't I don't know. They didn't say who was speaking. Well, see ya. Yeah, this is the desert. <laughs> you dumbass. You look tired. Maybe shopping will perk you up. Even though they're Bart's friends, I have to charge him. What do you want? Uh... I actually just did my shopping? 
These don't have new shit. Wait. They have worse stuff. Uh. What? Heimdall. We're gonna get a new gear soon. So they had better stuff on the Yggdrasil. Seven hundred eight. Hey, why is that only nine hundred? That's so much better. It's like almost a thousand more. Yeah, he's got a nine for that. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you don't fuel it up. Yeah. And I feel like that's not very cool. Oh, the RNG boot. Okay, that's what he's using already. Okay. Yeah, I am so broke. If you want anything, let me just just let me know. Um. So I should have waited to buy stuff, yeah? Yeah, okay, I will. Uh-huh. I mean, we're not exactly broke yet. But these are the same. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that HP upgrade for his gear was way cheap. Um... So we good? Master Faye, please relax. Oh, okay. So we're, we're done here. Yeah, okay. Uh, I do have to keep this episode a little bit shorter, guys. Just to let you know. Uh, because I do have to get going, and I needed to get two episodes recorded today, and the last one ended up taking a little bit longer than what I expected. So we'll do, like, one more thing, then find a save point. Actually, was there a save point? Wait, that's the world map? What? Um... So their base is actually kind of small. Like, the largest thing... is just, like, the dock for the Yggdrasil? I guess maybe we're supposed to go to back down there to the docking area? So let's overwrite the oldest one, I guess. Because, I mean, we haven't made a lot of progress, but we did go through a lot of conversation. It's just called Bart's Lair. All right. Um. Oh wait, there were two other doors. So that was Bart's room. So did I, did I check this one? Oh, uh, okay. Right. Okay. 
Right, because that's where we saved on the last episode. So what was this one? It was just an extra room or something, right? The operator room. Okay. Right, 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 right. This place is incredible. They probably do not even have equipment like this in the capital. <laughs> Surprised? All this technology is thanks to Sig. I'm assuming that's what he calls his brother. For like shorthand, I guess. Hey, Faye. Don't stand on the screen. We won't be able to see. Well, I didn't know this is a screen. Alright, men. Display my special file on the main screen. <laughs> it just starts playing like hardcore porn and he's like, No, no, not that, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Misunderstood, sir. What is this? Picture scroll, nearly 500 years old. This is King Fatima, I... Oh, the first. Okay. Body cloaked in flames, making a blood oath with the giants. They say he used the strength of the giants to found a va. It is amazing that such an ancient scroll exists. In such good state, too. I thought the ethos controlled all such things as these. Normally, yes. But this was one of my father's prized possessions. Next! After founding the country, Fatima forced the giants into slumber to protect his kingdom's people if needed in the future. But we don't know where they are hidden. In another record, one of the giants is called the Great Fatima Treasure. One of the giants? Oh, okay. What about the Jasper? Hey, you sure know a lot. Are you talking to Old Man Mason over tea? Did I tell you to do that? Shit. Perhaps you're one of the Shikan spies? Of course not. It is only an intellectual interest. <laughs> Just kidding. It appears the Jasper is the key to finding our treasure. Key? Could that be what Shikan is looking for? Not just him. Gebler is also looking for it. Really? Then we must rescue Marguerite as soon as possible. You're telling me. See, I can walk on the screen. This is my shit. <laughs> Since we helped you, I was wondering if I could, in turn, ask you a favor? Would that be for us to help you rescue her? Right, boy. That's exactly it. I heard from Sigurd. It seems that both Ava and Kislev are after you. So we can help you, and you can help us. How about it? It's not much to ask. Well, if it pays for my room and board, then I will help in any way I can. What do you think, Faye? You have not said anything for a while. Yeah, you were great back there in that stalactite cavern. And I have noticed you haven't had many lines lately. What, what's going on? Your strength alone is greater than 10 or 20 of Shikan's guards. Hmm. I'd love to have your power on my side. Why does everyone want to make me fight? I don't want to fight. Huh? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Like you sound different and... What the fuck? Faye, I'm assuming that's Satan saying that. I just don't feel like it. Love to have my power? I don't have any. What's wrong with you, Doc? Everyone, you're driving me into the brink. And there's that gear, Graf and my father. Who the fuck is Graf? I don't know, I'm just saying words. I don't have the time to help you out with your problems, and I got enough of my own. Shit. What's with him? Is he always that short tempered? No, that's not it. I am sorry. 
Things have happened so fast that he's not had time to deal with it all yet. Try to understand. We're gonna help service gears now. I... Uh, that seems like potentially dangerous work that the mechanic should do. Yeah, I am a mechanic. Go fuck yourself. Let's go! <laughs> Kids are what, like five? Six or something? Come on. How are they remotely qualified? Also, what the hell am I supposed to do? Faye just kind of stormed out of there and was like, I, I don't want to do the thing and the fighting and the danger partners. Also, is it just my imagination, or... Doesn't Faye, like, use a sword? At some point? Like, he's just been, like, punching. And I've been wondering about this for a little bit, because, like, in his equipment... There's a slot for weapon, and it's just gone unused. Like... And granted, he's good with, like, martial arts and stuff, but, like... Is that always just going to be a blank slot? What, you know? But anyway. Um, okay. We're past half an hour, so. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this one didn't have much actual gameplay. I mean, we did a lot of talking. And that's pretty much all we did. So, these are all in the pirate's lair. Is this the old one? Is this one? I mean, that was probably from the beginning of the episode. I mean, that's usually my... It's usually how I do these old... You know, JRPGs is I just, like, have multiple saves and just only overwrite the oldest one, typically. Typically. Um, eh, that's just, that's just me, in case I have to, like, reload a save for whatever reason, but, um, yeah, it's gonna pretty much do it for this one, guys. Um, thanks for being here, hope you enjoyed. Of course, and I was a little, here's the thing, like, I, was, I was a little concerned that, like, once Satan started having lines with, uh, with Bart, that it, it's kind of a similar register for me, like, vocal register, so... Yeah, I was a little concerned that they would blend a little bit, but they're actually distinct enough. And like I've said before, they're... It kinda... This always happens with JRPGs, where I need to like do the voices for all the characters and stuff. It's like... About halfway through... I, like, really get down, like, their mannerisms and inflections and, like, um, their vocal qualities, basically. But early on, it's, like, I'm still getting accustomed to, like, oh, this is how he would sound and this is how this would sound. And it helps if it's, like, a game I'm familiar with because I've already heard those lines before, I already kind of know how they're, like, what the meaning is behind the different lines and dialogue and stuff like that, and how they play into, like, the actual conversations they're trying to portray. It's a little more challenging <laughs> with this. Because one, it's still like a PS1 era JRPG, 
which means, yes, animations are limited, how they actually express different things. It, it, it's, um, it's challenging in that regard. It's, um, I haven't really done one like that here on the channel in, oh man. Yeah, it's actually been a really long time because most of the JRPGs I've played on this channel I've played before. Um, at least the retro ones. Like the Final Fantasies and what have you. But, um... Yeah, so th that's the other reason this series has been a nice change of pace for me. Um... Because, yeah, I wanted to do something that's actually been on my retro bucket list. And, uh... Yeah, something that's, um... I haven't played before. I mean, I guess if I haven't played it before, then it, yeah, it's on my retro bucket list. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna do it for now. So, thank you all once again for being here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I think I already said that part. Of course, the only thing left to do is the outro, special thanks, the announcements, all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, very special thank you going out to the amazing people who make it possible in the Valus Draconis, Aaron Schick, WTF, Corey, and Rogue XOX. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. It vastly helps out and very much appreciate it. And in case you guys are unfamiliar with YouTube handles, uh, that is why WTF, Corey, and Rogue XOX each have an at in front of their screen name. Uh, those are YouTube handles. Uh, they have channels of their own. Definitely go check them out when you get a minute. Highly recommended. Great stuff over there. And actually, let's... I set up a thing. Oh, there we go. It's nice. I set up a... I forgot I set up a quick button a while ago to just be like a... a dampener, basically. Like a, a gain cut for like the outro in case there happens to be some intense music happening uh, during the outro as has happened in the series a couple of times and I was like if I could just do like a dampener for like five decibels that'd be perfect for these kind of segments um, just at the end of the video at least until uh, at least until the end you know the end end but for the outro um, anyway, uh, YouTube handles also make navigation on YouTube quite a bit easier, so you can just go straight to their channels by going to youtube.com slash at, and then the rest of the handle, and it'll take you straight there. Uh, YouTube handles are also unique, no two are exactly the same, so it's another way to double check, make sure you're in the right place. Also, if you punch a YouTube handle into the YouTube search, uh, it will recognize that you are looking for a channel and not like a video, playlist, uh, live stream, that kind of thing. So, um, but yeah, channel membership start at $3 a month. It's only 10 cents a day. It gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. It's the thing we do once a month for a full seven days. So 25% of the time we do have one going and there is one starting up pretty soon. Uh, as my current estimation is, uh, we haven't done the one for September yet, and uh, I have said before it's going to be in the back half of the month. That is definitely true. We are in the back half of the month when you guys are watching this, and I think it's going to be starting before the final week of September, which I believe starts on the 23rd, so it might actually be active right now. Um, at the time of recording, I'm still figuring out when that's going to be exactly. But uh, yeah, that poll is going to be posted on the membership tab here on the channel. So any channel members will be able to access that. And um, all of the previous members' choice polls are also there. So if you haven't voted on them before, you can still vote on those. And, uh, excuse me. And retroactive input is considered for future polls. So even if you're just a member for one month, uh, it will, you can still influence the content that gets made here for quite some time. 
And um, there was one more thing about that. The other thing about that that was important and I wanted to talk about it. Another one. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, and if we happen to hit, and whenever we hit the next milestone, which is going to be 15 channel members, because we already did the milestone for 10 channel members, uh, I will do another ad-free series for you guys, because channel memberships do help out a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, uh, last one we did was Hyper Light Drifter. That was at 10. And uh, I said at the end of that series, and a couple other times, once we hit 15 like concurrent at any time uh, the next series will be an ad free series so um but yeah I think that's gonna do it for now oh for the announcements for now but this is an approximation of future announcements from the past so if you guys want all the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work for you it's totally fine I got you there's three other ways you guys can stay up to date the community tab here on the channel, the Farts of Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three whenever there's an announcement, so regardless of which one of those works for you, uh, you can stay up to date. And links for those are down in the description, also on the channel banner, but that is going to do it for today. So, thank you all once again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.